everyone. Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. And yes, I have another kit here to unbox. It is the latest actual kit, RR10 Bomber, 1 scale electric four-wheel drive, ready to run. Let's check it out. So, I picked this RC up from Crazy Hobbies, it's my local RC hobby shop, great shop, great staff, pretty much everything you need in there, if not, they'll hook you up, so let's have a look. So, as you can see, it's modelled off the real truck, Randy Slauson's bomber fabrication, and it's officially licensed, it's got all the cool stuff on the side and everything you expect from a, a quality piece uh, from Axial. So let's have a quick look around the box, some of the key features. It's got a forward mounted battery tray, so as you can see there, nice quick release action as well, so you can pop your new battery, pop your old batteries out and new ones in ASAP, get you crawling next to no time. Have a look on the other side here, just some uh, nice looking box art, and this is where the where all the action is. So, first things first, metal gear servo, which is always good, water resistant. That's important, water resistant, not waterproof, so I wouldn't go submerging it. Got a 35T brushed electric motor, three channel 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, obviously paired up with a three channel 2.4 gigahertz receiver. EA, sorry, AE5 ESC with drag brake, that's always good. Different transmission there. That's great. It's got metal internal gears. That's important one. So a lot of people were saying, oh, it might come with plastic gears in, the, in this latest release, but thank God they've put water uh, metal gears in there. Aluminium shocks, adjustable, waterproof receiver box, four linked with multi multiple tuning options like any of the actual trucks, and uh, WB8HD wild bore drive shafts. So these can take a bit of a beating. Uh, well designed and uh, should get you crawling in no time. As you can see here, the fully extended length of the shock is 103 millimeters, and uh, when it's compressed, it's 78. So 3.5 millimeter shock shafts. A lot of cool stuff in this kit, and there we go, full tube frame composite chassis, just like the real thing. And it's got an additional spare tire and uh, and wheels, so that's pretty cool actually use that if you really need to. It's got a quick uh, release spinner for the mounting at the back here. So that's cool. Not open to look cool but it's actually functional so let's have a little quick run through of the like what we need. So all we need is pretty much four AA batteries for the receiver, a battery for the car and the charger. But everything else as you can see there is, is available. So let's get cracking inside the box. Okay, I saved you the boredom of opening up and uh, factory sealed stickers there. Okay, let's get to the not so exciting stuff, but you can see here. Tactic uh, transmitter. Nice and positioned, fits well in the hand, I've got pretty big hands and it's quite comfortable to use for me. Got your steering, throttle and the trim adjustments there. Let's have a look at the battery box, as you can see. Takes four AA batteries which is cool. Yeah, nothing too much to say about that, but hey, it works and for 90% of people it does the job. Next up we have the, the goodies bags, so a lot of spare parts in there, so you've got some drive shafts, you've got your basic tools which is needed to get you going, got a, got a, a helmet there which is cool, get my camera to focus there, another helmet in there and some other parts and knickknack steering horn and stuff like that, just your basic spare parts, but who cares about all that, we don't want to see it. Oh, a little, little bit of 
There we go. Who reads those, eh? Okay, let's get cracking. Now, this is the first time I actually saw it when it went down to Crazy Hobbies and I pretty much said that looks awesome. I want one of those. Now, on on the camera, I might not do it justice, but it actually looks really, really cool, really, really scale, and I'm, I'm pretty much super impressed with how it looks. Okay, so let's have a closer look. There's your 2.2 plastic wheels, simulation uh, beadlock style, just plastic, not real, but you can always get an aftermarket set if you see fit. Details quite nice with the bolt heads and the Baja TA. BF Goodridge tyres. Quite nice, seem pretty grippy. Pretty sure I'd have no trouble navigating through whatever you, you know, want to try with this bad boy. So, very nice truck. Not too heavy, obviously got no battery in here, but quite well. While we're at the front, let's have a look at the shocks. Very, very nice preload here. Adjustable, none of those silly clips, but nice threaded shocks there. Front servo setup, quite well. Seems to work very well. Minimal, minimal play. There's a setup there. I've seen a lot of aftermarket parts already for these, so. If you guys want to change stuff up or when you break it, there's always a raft of parts and uh, Crazy Hobbies always has this uh, in stock for you already, so don't worry about it if you break something. If you don't, it means you're not trying hard enough, I guess. So, nice setup. And the articulation. It's quite well. Pretty sure you'll get over anything you need to with no worries. Now while I'm over here, I don't think any other review or I've seen a close-up of the Navigator. You can see he's actually got a little screen there, GPS, a little on a map showing where he's going, telling the driver where to go. And there's the driver there. And the interior is just moulded plastic with stickers to replicate uh, the instrument and the steering wheel there. But nevertheless, it looks fine. In the front here with these two pins, these two body clips, you just pull them out. And what that it opens up like a little bonnet. And then you have another brace here. And your battery fits snugly in there with no issues. Plug it all up, close that down, lock the other one down, and you're ready to rock and roll. Quick look at the decals there. Very nice and nicely done. Nice and crisp, everything you can read easily. Very well, very well done. Your rear shocks, same as the front pretty much. Got a few adjustments there. For your suspension setup. Got this cool spare wheel here with the functioning mount there. It's one of the same as the other wheels, so you can use it if, if something happens during the trail run. You can pop it off and change it over just like in real life. I'll leave that off so you can see this, some of the detailing in here. The fuel tank. Back of the roll cage. Everything's nicely, you know, manufactured. Great fit and finish, pretty much like all actual products are. Flip it on its roof. Give you a look at the drivetrain. Everything's plastic down here, but we'll hold it up well to uh, abuse. Good thing about plastic, it's pretty flexible and you know, light and strong at the same time. Nice setup, nice and simple, but very reliable. Uh, any of you guys already have these particular style of trucks, you'd know it looks very familiar to you guys, so nothing new to see, but for you new guys out there, there you go. Very nice.
awesome looking truck. And just a quick one guys, if any of you were wondering if you could fit a, a large hard cell lipo in here, well here's an example, here's a Zippy 5000 milliamp hour battery and if you position it just right, yes, yes you can. So these will come back down, I guess you're just going to put the wires in a particular place, but yeah you can. So rest assured that you can be able to fit in there if you put it in a certain way, but yeah, the majority of it will fit in there, like so. Good stuff. Okay, I just pumped in a 5000 milliamp hour lipo in there just to show you how it performs. Straight out of the box, haven't touched nothing, not a brass razoo at all. So let's see the crawl speed on the minimum you can go. little bit increments there we go so that's kind of the slowest it will crawl in reverse let's have a look so I'm just there we go let's check out the brakes on this so Not too bad, let's get this steering trim where we want it. It's a bit better. Let's have a look at the turning radius. Not too shabby. It turns pretty well for a stock truck. You know, I really wouldn't complain. This is a great. Uh, Great way to get into trailing or um, rock crawling. It's a bit of both, really. And uh, yeah, looks good so far. Let's do some speed runs. I'll get the camera in a better angle for you guys. Let's set it up somewhere else. Okay, guys, I've got a 5000 milliamp hour two cell LiPo battery in there now. So this will not go as fast as say if you put a 3S in there which it's capable of so bear that in mind but this is good to start off I guess so let's go into minimum setting here nice and low crawl speed which is pretty good suspension travel is fantastic very plush and it moulds to the uh, whatever it's travelling over very well pretty fast considering it's a two cell and I must admit obviously it's not going to come up on camera but it looks very realistic driving this thing around the uh, scale driver and the uh, co-driver look very cool in there and bear in mind that guys this is stock kit straight out of the box as you see from uh, as you get it from uh, your hobby shop so very nice Show you guys here again if you want to show show you how. So I'm just touching it slowly. There we go. That's the crawl speed that you probably expect in stock form, which is pretty much fine for majority of drivers out there. Very nice, awesome looking rig. So once again, thanks to Crazy Hobbies for hooking me up with this fantastic kit. Really appreciate that great looking truck can't really go wrong i'll leave the link in the description box go check them out awesome stuff see you guys